Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. I want to take a few minutes here and talk about uh, something that's going on in the market, which is the uh, market internally starting to weaken. What I want to do is take a look at the uh, the cumulative advanced decline lines. That is not the uh, not to be confused with the regular advanced declines. This is the advanced declines on a plotted on a on a on a on a day over day basis to give you a net line. What I have here is I've got a chart. The upper chart is the uh, New York Stock Exchange side. We can see that it had been in a steady uptrend until recently when we started to make a couple of lower highs here. This is definitely concerning for the market because once this starts to go, um, generally the market will follow suit and follow suit um, you know, to the, to the tune of something meaningful happening. The lower chart here is the NASDAQ uh, average, the uh, falls the NASDAQ exchange. And you can see that this has been in kind of a, a period of distribution. Um, for a while here and actually has a bit of a downward bias to it. So the uh, New York Stock Exchange side is just starting to roll over and the NASDAQ side is uh, certainly negative right now. All right, now what I've done now is I've uh, changed the time frame from the daily to the weekly. So these are the weekly cumulative advanced declines. You can see that the uh, NQs <clears throat> on the NASDAQ side made this high right at the beginning of the year. And since that uh, that high in January, which, which was this nice push that we had in the rally, uh, late fourth quarter in 2014, the cumulative advanced decline line on the uh, on the Nasdaq side has not been able to make a new high, and in fact, it's threatening to uh, make a series of lower lows here. What you really want to watch out for, though, is when you turn your attention to the New York Stock Exchange side (NYSE). This is the upper chart. When the New York Stock Exchange side starts to roll over, almost every time. You're going to get a very sharp and long-lasting move to the downside in the uh, broad market averages. So we're starting to see evidence of a rollover here on the uh, on the New York side. And once the New York side starts to go, that's it for the market. Every time it goes down, so just be just be ready for that. If this trend persists and continues, we're likely to have a, uh, a very very um, sloppy summer. So keep an eye on this chart. I'll give you one more to look at before we before we have before we go. That's going to be the uh, cumulative. Uh, advanced declines overlaid with their averages. All right, so here's a look at the um, cumulative advanced declines. Again, the cumulative advanced declines are the blue lines, and then their respective uh, averages are the are the red and the yellow. Let's look at the Nasdaq first. You can see we had this big surge, this big push up in um, in market breadth in the uh, Nasdaq side. And what did that do? Started rallying this to the upside. However, the NASDAQ is, is continuing to try and move higher here while the advanced decline line is rolling over to the downside, which means that while the market is making new highs, there are fewer and fewer stocks that are participating. And it's almost the nifty 50 uh, type of a scenario, if you recall that, where there were just a, a small number of stocks really carrying the market. And that is definitely, uh, definitely starting to, to, to come to a head here in NASDAQ, where the biotechs are really the ones that are lifting, lifting the tide here while the uh, other sectors like the semiconductors and whatnot are really uh, starting to get hit and continue to be weak. On the uh, top side here, here is the uh, New York Stock Exchange line with the S&P 500 over it. You see, we are starting to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a divergence here. You can see the S the S&P is is trying to hold up here, but we do see the uh, the uh, cumulative advanced decline line starting to roll to the downside. And these are one of the very very important uh, relationships. In the market, so keep on top of this, and uh, I'll give you one little bonus chart here before we before we uh, before we head out. And these leading and lagging uh, indicators can be found in other uh, sectors as well. Here's a look at the uh, oil oil futures, which is the blue line, versus the oil services, which is the uh, represents the sector that produces that oil. These are the drillers and the and the uh, rig rig makers that produce that go into producing the oil. Now, in this one. Oof, before the cumulative advanced decline line tends to lead the overall market. In this particular uh, instance, it is the uh, actual stocks that lead the commodity. So the oil services stocks, OSX, tend to lead commodity prices. If you take a look here, when oil was making was trying to make a low here, we had a, we had a very sharp drop in the oil services. Had a little bit of a bounce in oil, but the oil services really did outperform. And if you look right here, you can see that oil services index was actually making a higher low here relative to the previous flow, even though oil was uh, oil futures themselves were continuing lower and making a lower low. So this is important because 
because this was the key. While a lot of people at this level, when crew was around forty dollars, we're, we're talking about it going to thirty or thirty-five dollars. We knew from this chart that oil was in fact bottoming out right here. So what happened then? We pivoted out of that. Oil services led this to the upside, and then got fatigued at this level right here and started rolling to the downside. Now that oil has gotten back to around the sixty-dollar area, a lot of uh, other people are uh, talking about oil getting to sixty-five dollars. But right now, the trouble is that the oil services are actually underperforming oil and have been uh, have been uh, basically uh, just breaking down a little bit more. We've been playing these on the short side and been doing very well with that. A lot of people are calling for oil to go higher, but these oil services keep going down. So we've had nice shorts in these uh, on an intraday basis, and we'll continue to do so. So these these little relationships are are found in a lot of a, a lot of other uh, pairs as well. But I just wanted to present to you the overall um, the overall look of the uh, cumulative advanced decline line and give you this little bonus here on the uh, on the oil services and uh, and how to use that to your advantage uh, with crude prices. So keep your eyes open, pay attention to these. Um, to these uh, to these pairs and these these relationships, these are things that we talk about all day long at the trading lab at uh, at TradeSite, and uh, definitely help keep us on the right side of the trade. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.